In this series, we'll be using the R software environment for all our analyses. Throughout our data science series, you will learn R and data analysis techniques simultaneously. Your R skills will improve throughout the series. So in this course, rather than cover every R skill you need, we provide the building blocks so you can grow your knowledge as you go through the series. We find that we better retain our knowledge when we learn it to solve a specific problem. As done throughout the series, in this course, we will use a motivating case study. In this case, it's related to crime in the United States. A relevant data set and some basic R skills will permit us to answer specific questions related to the topic. Imagine you live in Europe and you're offered a job in a U.S. company with many locations across all states. It is a great job but news with headlines such as U.S. gun homicide rate higher than other developed countries have you worried. Charts like this one where we can see the U.S. having a much higher homicide rate than other rich countries worries you. You're about to decline the job, but then you wonder if perhaps these news reports are a bit sensationalist. You note, for example, that other European countries such as Lithuania, Ukraine, and Russia are not in this chart, and they have higher rates than the U.S., higher than 4 per 100,000. You're also reminded that the U.S. is a large and diverse country with 50 very different states and the District of Columbia. California, for example, has a larger population than Canada. 20 U.S. states have populations larger than that of Norway. In some respects, the variability across states in the U.S may be akin to the variability across countries in Europe. So back to your job. You have options of where to live and want to find out how safe each state is. We will do this using R. We will examine data related to gun homicides in the U.S. However, in the first few videos, we go over some logistics and introduce general concepts that are the building blocks of what comes next. It will not be immediately obvious how it all these concepts are useful, but later in the course and later in the series, it will become clear. After we're done with the basics, we'll have our first real data science experience. We will delve into the homicide data and answer practical real-world questions.